In Connecticut, lawyer Billy looks through the window and notices that a gypsy caravan is arriving in town. After complaining, he goes to the bathroom to check his weight, but he hasn't lost any, even if he's supposed to be on a diet. Then he joins his wife Heidi and their daughter Linda for breakfast. When Heidi asks him for his weight, he lies and says 297, which he had last week. This means he's been gaining weight instead. Next, Billy goes to court to defend his client, a mafia boss called Richie. He's a truly despicable man who should be in jail, but Billy proves there isn't enough evidence and he quickly wins the case. Afterward, Billy goes to his law firm office and discovers that the Gypsy Carval has settled down at the public park across the street. Everyone seems to be having fun with the music and the games, but when a Gypsy woman gives Billy a flyer and invites him to come, he doesn't look thrilled. Then Billy takes the stairs to his office, which leaves him extremely tired. His boss takes Billy to the window and points at a Gypsy girl called Gina telling him to give her a quarter and asks her to raise her skirt. But Billy doesn't like the idea. Later, when Billy leaves the office, he bumps into Judge Rossington, who is very disgusted by the gypsies and is waiting for the cops to kick them out. Officer Hopley finally makes them leave and comes to inform Rossington that the gypsies rented some land at the local farm. Before leaving, Gina approaches Billy and takes a coin out of her cleavage before raising her skirt in a flirty manner. However, she suddenly raises her finger and spits on the ground before going back to her family. In the evening, Billy and Heidi go to a restaurant to celebrate his win with some friends, but Heidi asks him to leave when the waiter brings the desserts. During the trip home, Heidi tries to distract Billy from thinking about food by getting naughty with him while he drives. Meanwhile, at the local pharmacy, the gypsy chief Tadzu and his daughter are buying some medicine when the daughter realizes she's cold. She goes out to grab her coat from her car, and as she's crossing the street, Billy's car is coming her way. Since Billy is distracted by Heidi's naughty affection, he doesn't see the woman and accidentally hits her, instantly killing her. The next day, Billy attends an inquest. Hopley testifies that Billy was sober and driving within the speed limit, so Rossington rules that the death of Tadzu's daughter is purely accidental. Hopley and Rossington are actually lying to help him, and Billy goes free without punishment. Outside, Tadzu approaches Billy and uses his thumb to suddenly touch his face, saying the word thinner before leaving. Some days later, Billy checks his weight and he's shocked to see 283, which doesn't make much sense because he's never stopped eating like a pig. Later, Billy goes to play golf with some friends like Rossington and Dr. Mike. They notice Billy's weight loss just by looking at him, but there's a man who still makes fun of him. Billy turns around and grabs his rear while insulting the guy back which he couldn't do when he was fatter. Afterward in the locker room, Rossington asks Mike to check a weird thing growing on his skin. Mike blames it on stress and instructs him to just put an ointment on it. Then Billy checks his weight again, and surprisingly, he's already lost another two more pounds since the morning. While the men shower, Rossington tells Billy that Tadzu approached him too and touched him on the spot, which now looks weird. Days continue to pass, and Billy loses another 25 pounds. This is too fast and Heidi is starting to worry it may be an early sign of cancer, so she tells him to go see Mike. Billy gets some tests done and Mike looks at the results, only to inform Billy that he's perfectly healthy. Afterward, Billy goes to his tailor, who takes Billy's measurements to get him a whole new wardrobe. The numbers are so different that Billy gets on a scale to check again, noticing he's now down to 230 pounds. When the tailor asks for his secret, Billy just tells him he wouldn't like his methods. That night, Billy eats a huge amount of food, since apparently eating it's what makes him lose weight. Linda worries about her dad, and when he makes fun of her concerns, she gets upset and rushes to her room. Billy just keeps on eating, and when Heidi scolds him, Billy explains that he skipped lunch at the office and lost even more weight, so he thinks he must eat to keep his weight stable. He also blames Heidi for the accident, but she points out he never stopped her and announces she'll send Linda to stay at her aunt's house so she doesn't have to see him like this. Later at a restaurant, Billy meets with Mike, who explains he asked specialists and concluded Billy doesn't have a tapeworm, so he'll have no choice but to go to a clinic. At that moment, Billy notices Rossington's wife, Lita, eating alone while looking sad. So Mike shares that Rossington is out of town checking on his sister. However, Billy knows that Rossington doesn't have a sister, so after dinner, he goes to Rossington's house. At first, Leda lies and says her husband is out of town visiting relatives. But when Billy mentions his insane weight loss, she guesses he was touched by Tadzu. 
Then, she explains, Rossington is at a clinic to treat his skin condition. When Tadzu touched him, he whispered the word, lizard. And since then, Rossington's skin has been turning into scales and his hands into claws. Leda is sure both her husband and Billy are under a gypsy curse, but Billy thinks curses don't exist. When Leda starts to freak out, she pushes Billy out as she blames him for the curses because he was the one that killed the gypsy woman. But Billy reminds her Rossington is also responsible for covering up Billy's crimes. Billy leaves after Leda throws alcohol at his face, and he decides to call Richie to ask if gypsy curses are real. Richie asks her Italian mother about it, and the mother confirms they're indeed real explaining that only the person who put the curse can remove it. Later, while Heidi is driving Billy to the clinic, he tells her about the curse, but she doesn't believe such a ridiculous concept. Heidi continues to argue with Billy over the matter and almost misses a truck on the road, but luckily she dodges it just in time. For the next few days, Billy stays at the clinic and the doctors put him through dozens of tests. However, the results are always perfect, so they can't explain what's happening. Eventually, Billy gets bored and leaves to visit Hopley, who has also been cursed, and now his skin is covered in gross bumps. Hopley gives Billy his gun and asks him to get revenge, but Billy refuses, saying he needs Tadzu alive to take off the curse. However, Hopley points out Tadzu would never help them and gets very aggressive, so Billy runs out of the house. At that moment, he hears the gun go off in the house, meaning Hopley self-deleted. Afterward, Billy goes home and sees Mike leaving his house, so he starts suspecting Mike and Heidi may be having an affair. He goes inside to start grabbing food while Heidi talks to him, but he can't stop picturing her with Mike. Billy explains that he isn't going back to the clinic because he's cursed, and when Heidi complains, he throws food at her and yells that he's being erased. The next day, Billy hires a detective, who tracks down the gypsy caravan and informs Billy they're going to the main coast. Afterward, Billy goes home and finds Heidi and Mike discussing the possibility of taking legal action against him. Billy tells them he agrees to go back to the clinic, but he actually drives to Maine to find the gypsies. When he makes it to the caravan camp, he finds it empty, so he goes to talk to the realtor who rented the terrain to them. The realtor reveals that Mike and Heidi have put up wanted posters for Billy, so if he wants information, he'll have to pay or the realtor will call his wife. After buying the guy's silence, Billy goes to a hotel and finds a sign advertising a gypsy fair. He immediately heads there and finds Tadzu and Gina selling sick dolls of him, Rossington, and Hopley. Gina throws a doll of Billy at him and then starts chasing him around the fair. So Billy runs away and is rescued by Rossington, whose skin is fully covered in scales now. Gina shoots her slingshot and breaks the car's windows, but the men get away right before she can hurt them. However, Rossington is driving too fast and when they reach the bridge, they see a fire truck driven by Tadzu approaching them. Rossington tries to stop the car but it's impossible, and the truck hits them. On the other side, a school bus also driven by Tadzu approaches, and hits the car too. At that moment, Billy wakes up in the hotel, revealing it was all a nightmare. Worried, he tries calling Rossington, but Leda answers the phone and tells him her husband self-deleted. Afterward, Billy finds the fair, but it's been abandoned. He asks around and a man tells him what road the caravan took. In the evening, Billy follows that road and eventually finds the gypsy camp. Gina calls him a demon, ignoring the sight of Billy's skeleton-like physique when he raises his shirt. Tadzu swears he will never take off the curse, so a desperate Billy drops to his knees and starts begging, but Tadzu only pushes him away and threatens to make it worse. Furious, Billy says he curses the gypsies back, but they only laugh at him. Since Billy refuses to leave, Gina slingshots a stone at him, which pierces through his hand. Billy rushes back to the hotel and wraps his hand the best he can, but he needs help. He calls Richie, who tells him to go to his own summer house and sends a doctor who knows to keep his mouth shut. The doctor bandages his hand and gives him some medicine, but there isn't anything he can do about the pain. The next day, Richie visits Billy and notices he's weighing less than 130 pounds. He also informs Billy that Heidi has signed a legal paper to force Billy to be taken to a mental hospital. Determined to help Billy, Richie sneaks into the gypsy camp in the middle of the night, poisoning all the dogs and leaving a note asking them to take off the curse. Afterward, he stops at a gas station and pays a young man to let him know if the gypsies move their location again. The next day, the guy calls Richie to tell him about the new gypsy camp. After he hangs up, he's ambushed by Gina and her husband. Meanwhile, Richie, receives two boxes with weapons to carry on the plan. 
At that moment, Billy sees a car outside with a message from the gypsies. And when he looks at the front sea, he finds the body of the young man. There's a chicken head in his mouth and the word never on his forehead as an answer to Richie's note. Furious, Richie grabs his weapons and gets ready for revenge, ignoring Billy's pleas not to kill anybody. In the evening, Richie sneaks into the gypsy camp and knocks down Gina's husband before opening fire. Lots of gypsies get killed and their vehicles are destroyed. One of them even explodes and starts a fire. Then Richie pushes Gina's husband forward and in the darkness, his loved ones think he's the enemy so they mistakenly shoot him down. After Richie leaves, the group finds a note on the guy's body asking for the curse to be taken off. The next day, the police come over to the camp to investigate. Richie pretends to be an FBI agent to talk to Gina and convinces her to follow him into a barn house, which is seen by Billy from afar. In the barn, Richie pushes Gina and throws a liquid at her face pretending it's acid, but he's lying to scare her. A furious Gina tries to defend herself, but Richie hits her head to knock her down. At that moment, Billy shows up to stop Richie from killing her. So instead, Richie puts the jar with real acid on her forehead and leaves a message for Tad Zoo. He must meet them in the lighthouse in two hours. After the men are gone, Gina very carefully moves her arms to get rid of the acid and runs back to her people. Two hours later, Tad Zoo comes to the lighthouse because he doesn't want Richie to kill Gina. To remove the curse, it must be transferred to another person. So Tad Zoo stabs Billy's wounded hand and lets the blood drip into a pie. Now the curse is in the filling, so Billy must feed the pie to someone else to kill them. Before going home, Billy calls Linda and tells her to stay the night at her friend's house. A few days later, Billy returns to his house looking healthier and gives the pie to Heidi as revenge for her infidelity. The next morning, Billy wakes up and is pleased to find Heidi's rotting body next to him. He even kisses it on the mouth to taste the sugar. However, when he goes downstairs, he discovers Linda is already back and she's also eaten the pie. After she leaves for school, Billy is feeling so guilty that he thinks of eating pie too. But at that moment, Mike comes by to check on the family. Wanting more revenge, Billy invites him in to have some pie 